Chris Crone here with REI TV, and today we're doing something special. In fact, we're announcing that we're gonna start having Mindset Monday. We got Wealth Wednesday, and you're gonna keep getting those videos, but on Mondays we wanna give some of you an extra something special, because the reality is the wealth that's been created in my mind, I keep talking about how you do it, and here's the strategy, and here's how you become an expert investor. But the reality is there's tremendous mindset mentoring. I've paid over $2 million to men and women who have been taking my brain and turning it into a business mind. And they've been transforming my body. And they've been transforming the way I view my relationship and my marriage and my relationship with God. And so Mindset Monday is an extra video, a gift from us to you, and it is dedicated to help develop you from the inside out so that the reality you wanna create on the outside can match the inside. Today I wanna to show you just a, a special little clip from a recent event I had in front of a large audience that was all about how we can step out of our limit zone. You've heard of a comfort zone? This video is on how you step out of your limit zone and it's based on this idea that you and I were limitless. I wear this, this little bracelet right here. It says, I am limitless. And today I want to suggest to you that you are limitless and we can step into our potential where we become all sorts of new limitless first in our mind and then how you can express that as a successful investor and simply as a person creating powerful results in their life. All right, uh, so here's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna talk about a fun principle that's gonna lay a foundation for this, and we call it the limit zone. What's it called? Man, you heard of that thing called the comfort zone, right? We're giving it a new name. It's not about being comfortable, uncomfortable. It's about understanding how we do and don't limit ourselves. To become limitless is to remove the beliefs that create limits for us. And so, there's a picture of our limit zone. There's something I want to invite you to understand around this. Anything that you, and this is worth writing down, anything you want that you do not have will never be found in here. Anything you want that you have not yet found will never be inside your limit zone. So to produce the results and to get the things that we want to have that we don't, what is it going to require? Let's get the microphone passing around here. So let's get some hands up. Got a hand right here and one back there. Risk. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Risk. Risking uh, embarrassment, risking, you know, whatever it takes. Yeah, you know, risk is really kind of a funny word for me, right? Because the things that we call risky, you know what the most risky thing really is? Is to stay safe. You don't have what you want in here, and you think risk is outside of here? Hello? You are living with your greatest fear. It is like inside you. Your comfort zone is your risk zone. You are taking the greatest risk by never having the opportunity to produce the thing that you want in life. Anthony, right over here. Um, I think that uh, facing your fears and also kind of taking possession of your own humility and allowing yourself to be in a vulnerable space. Yeah, that is so beautifully said. Give it up for her, that was beautifully said. So uh, I like watching sci-fi. Does anyone else here like watching good sci-fi, Lord of the Rings and, well, I like good sci-fi and I love watching bad sci-fi. I told my wife last week, I'm kidnapping you to go on a date. It's one of her love languages, kidnap me. And I didn't tell her I was taking her to a guy movie that I knew she wouldn't appreciate very much. And we go see this horrible Frankenstein movie. And I don't mind watching a movie that someone poured $30 million and tons of creativity in, even if there were plot holes and the actors weren't, you know, whatever. It's just like seeing that creation is like, it's amazing. Well, they made this movie a couple years ago with Will Smith and his son called After Earth. Anyone see that one? 
I enjoyed the movie. I own it. I got it in my DVD carousel in my theater room, and, and I, for some reason I put that movie on like every five, six months because there's this part that I love. It's the struggle between a father and son's relationship where the father is bearing down on the son, and the son wants to prove to his father that he's man enough to face his fears. And at this one pivotal moment in the movie, Will Smith is speaking to his son, and he says, there is no fear except the fear we create. And then he said, don't get me wrong. There is danger. Danger is really, it, it's very real. But fear is not. Facing our fears, there are things that we have that keep us inside of here when what we really need to create the life we want is to get out. And here's the reality. Man, you don't have to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. You've got to get out of your comfort zone a ton because some of you, how many of you in this room have big dreams. And we're going to have Gerald coming up here. Some of you may not know, but Gerald Rogers, New York Times bestseller. With that, please help me welcome to the front of the stage, Mr. Gerald Rogers. Give it up for him. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So right now we're going to dive into a really valuable conversation and, and really talking about where do the results in our life really come from? A lot of times we experience life as unconscious reactors. The conscious creator realizes that if they want to create change, the change begins from the inside out. So really, let's, let's look at how change occurs in our life. And I want you to kind of imagine right now that in your life, just imagine for your mo a moment that your life is like a garden. And in the garden of your life, you have a tree that represents your relationships. And you have a tree that represents your health. You have a tree that represents your own confidence, your personal power, your emotional state, your connection with God. You have a tree that represents money in your life. And on these trees, you have certain fruit that's showing up. And that fruit may be showing up in the form of abundance, and maybe in your relationships, you feel like this deep, thriving connection with those that you know, that, those that you love. Or is it possible that your fruit might also be showing up not so tasty, <laughs> all right? And so in this, in this experience, looking at all the different fruit that's showing up in your life, you may realize that there's some fruit that does not serve you, some fruit that is not working. And I don't like to use the term bad or good as it relates to this fruit because the reality is the result is a result. And it doesn't serve us to make ourselves wrong for the result that we've created. But if it's not fruit that you like, it's simply fruit that's not working, not serving, not creating the life that you want. And so the negative fruit just shows up as feedback. What is it? Feedback. Feedback. It's just an invitation to shift something. But in order to shift it, we need to understand where this fruit really comes from. And a lot of times, people pour energy into the wrong things when they're wanting to create change. Like, for instance, um, they'll look at a situation around money, and they'll be like frustrated, they're stuck in debt, they'll be experiencing lack, living, doing a job that they don't like. Um, and experiencing some really untasty fruit in, in their, their finances. How many of you have ever thought that having a lack of money is a little bit of a problem? A lack of money is never, ever the problem. It is the result. It's the what? The lack of money isn't the problem. It's the manifestation of what's beneath the ground. The roots are what are creating the fruit. Everything in our external world is simply a reflection of our internal blueprints, our internal beliefs. As it is above, so it is below. Everything inside is what's creating the outside. And this is fundamentally the, the core of all transformation is understanding that if we want to change the external results, we'll need to change the internal story. So the fruit represents what? It's the results. The what? The fruit represents the results that are showing up in your life. 
financially, emotionally, spiritually, in your relationships, and physically. These are the results you've created in your life. The trunk, the trunk represents your choices. The trunk represents how you've been creating these results. What have you been doing and what have you not been doing? What are the habits? What are the patterns you've adopted into your life? What are the things you do on a daily basis that would generate this fruit? And beneath that, beneath that is the roots represent what? The roots represent the beliefs or the blueprint for the reason why you make those choices. We'll talk about this, how during the beginning of the process, as you're repeating these new beliefs in your mind, your mind's going to want to reject them. Why? Because the old beliefs, the old beliefs have created your current reality. Think about this. Your past way of being, believing, and behaving have created your current reality. Would you agree with this? All of your past choices have led you to here. All of those beliefs have built what is in your limit zone. So everything you experience, your the house that you live in, the car that you drive, the clothes that you wear, the relationships you're in, the body that you currently wear, um, all of these things are manifestations of your past way of being, believing, and behaving. They're all, are they inside or outside your comfort zone? They're inside, they're inside this limit zone. So as we look at wanting to create something different, Say you want to manifest a new house, or you want to manifest the dream job, or you want to manifest um, the ability to travel around the world, you want to manifest that perfect relationship. All of those things are going to require what? If we want to move beyond our limit zone, what are we going to need to create? New beliefs. New beliefs that break through all of these past beliefs that have held us hostage. And so this journey of breaking through really requires a a lot of courage because this area right here, this is your core self-image. This is how you see yourself. This is your existing blueprint of what you deserve to have in your life. Does that make sense? You've created this core identity for yourself of what you deserve. You deserve a certain type of relationship, a certain type of income, a certain type of health. All of these things are your existing, existing blueprint. So in order to create a new blueprint, we're going to have to create some new beliefs. And any time the mind is challenged, any time the mind is challenged and change starts to occur, what does the mind do? It wants to protect itself. The mind has one job, which is to keep you safe, to keep you alive. And the way the mind does that is it tries to keep you within your limit zone. Does that make sense? Because this is what it knows. To live in a different house, to have a different relationship, to have a different car, or to have more money, all of these things feel dangerous to the mind because it feels unfamiliar. So during this first process, as you're planting these new beliefs, is it going to feel natural? No, of course not. So it feels as though it's not true because it's not familiar. The message from me to you on this first Mindset Monday, live limitless. Subscribe, especially if you want to keep getting Mindset Monday videos in addition to your Wealth Wednesday videos. And we look forward to sharing this life-changing information with you.